For local coverage on this Tuesday night, the town of Narragansett is taking steps to limit rental options for college students. A proposed ordinance would only allow three college students in a single family residence, but some people, students, and businesses in the area disagree with the town council meeting earlier this month. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us now with more. The Narragansett Planning Board will take up the issue tomorrow night. This after the motion to refer the ordinance to the Planning Board was approved 5 to 0. The Narragansett Town Council unanimously votes to limit the number of college students able to rent a single family residence. Council member Jesse Pugh tells me the debate is now whether to limit the number to three or four. I am going to support either. So if it turns out that the rest of the council wants to do three, I will still support that, although I'm leaning more towards four at this point. At their June 15th meeting, the town solicitor wrote a proposed amendment to the town's current zoning ordinance that would mirror a Providence ordinance. That was upheld by Rhode Island Supreme Court in May and limits the number of college students in a single family residence to three. Pew says this is needed to help families in town. We have an issue in town with declining um, you know, demographics when it comes to families in town. So there's just a very finite amount of real estate available and the home prices are high. So I support it to free up some inventory for families, but not to punish college kids and you know not to blame them for anything. Sunrise Properties offers rentals and manages properties in Narragansett. They tell me during the academic year, 85% of their rentals are to students and this ordinance would have a big impact. We feel that this is pushed through with very limited um, public input, input from businesses, uh, real estate agents, property owners, and um, the enforcement of it has not been well uh, thought through or planned. Um, and we're really concerned that this whole, um, this coming together so quickly is going to drive, um, drive the whole rental, student rental process underground. This town has always had a rental history. It is part of economic viability as well for the town to have restaurants stay open all year long. There's a lot of positives to the students being here that get overlooked quite often. And Pew tells me if the planning board has no issues and the ordinance moves forward, it would not affect this upcoming academic year's leases. I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.